Dance and Music Service and this video is for you if you play violin or viola and have started to use your left hand fingers on the strings. We will use first, second and third fingers today on every string in a tune called Cowboy Chorus. If you're one of my pupils you will know this already even if you only started lessons this year. If you've only tried first finger so far, please have a go anyway. We're going to start on the A string. Um, if you're playing a viola, this will be your highest string. Most of you will have stickers on your instruments um, to help where you're putting your fingers. Um, so try and line your fingers up with these on the A string, pressing firmly onto the string. Don't worry about your fourth finger for now, we're not going to need that today. Um, the tune starts on the second finger, so make sure your fourth finger and third finger are out of the way. So you've just got these two pressing down on the stickers. Make sure your thumb is lined up with your first finger and make sure your wrist is nice and straight there. Okay, to warm up, uh, we'll play it pizzicato with our finger here. Um, make sure that second finger is ready. I'll count to four before we start. One, two, three, four. Two, three. And now we'll do the same thing but with the bow instead. So left hand being exactly the same, get it lined up ready, make sure it's firmly pressed on the string, get your bow hold, and off we go. One, two, three, four. in as well to make it sound a bit more exciting. Um, make sure you've got the volume up for this bit so that you can hear the piano part properly. Um, I'm going to count to four before we start. One, two, three, four. <laughs> onto the D string. Make sure your bow and fingers are lined up before you start. Your bowing elbow will need to be a bit higher up when you're on the D. That was the A and you're on the D. If you're on the viola you would have started down here and then also you've got to just go up a little bit. Okay, count to four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> See if we can do G for grumpy this time. Dig the bow in a bit for this one. One, two, three, four. for their C string. Violins don't run away because we'll do the, your E string in a minute. Um, let's try C for calm. You need to have smooth, quiet bows for this one on the viola. This is your bottom string, so make sure your arm, your bowing arm, is right over there, nicely up in the air, so that you can reach the C string properly. Uh, we're going to try this one with an introduction. Instead of counting to four, you'll be able to tell when to come in.
violin, your higher string. If you have a cat, it might be running away at this point, um, like mine used to do when I was young. Um, okay, now I'm going to try E for excitable, this one, so a little bit faster, quite exciting, and check that your bowing arm is nice and low for this one. This is your higher string, but the lowest position for your bowing elbow. Okay, have a listen to the introduction. we'll be releasing to support you while you're at home. If you've enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Bye!